Welcome back everybody. Today we are discussing a surveying problem related to trigonometric leveling. So we have a theodolite set up at a benchmark whose elevation is 237.5 foot. A level rod is put at point B. A rod reading of 3.88 foot is taken at a zenith angle of 73 degrees 27 minutes and an incline distance of 568.73 foot. If the height of the instrument is four and a half foot, the elevation in foot of point P is most nearly. Okay, we will start with uh, drawing our theodolite. Um, we know that the elevation of um, the benchmark, which is the distance up to here, this distance we know it is 237.5 foot and we know that so this is the elevation and this is the height of the instrument we have four and a half foot Uh, now um, the, the zenith angle it was 73.27 now uh, we have two types of angles we are discussing here so the first one is the zenith angle which we are taking from the vertical line so if this zenith angle is less than 90 that means our line of sight or our slope distance is going up that means we are looking upward and our object is on top if it is more than 90 degree that means we are looking down the other type of angle that we might face is the altitude angle and it's measured from the horizontal line okay and how is that if uh, if it's positive or it's being measured uh, up it will be positive so we have we have a positive angle and if we are looking down it will be a negative altitude angle so we have two types of angles okay now our angle is 73.27 it says an angle that means we are less than 90 we are looking up so that means our object is stationed upward this is our rod in here we are looking upward and this is the vertical line and this is the angle the zenith angle which is 73 degrees 27 minutes this is the horizontal distance that we have And this is the elevation difference between the reading at the rod and the instrument we have and the distance here from here to this point this is R this is our reading on the rod and this distance here it's the different the difference in elevation and this is the horizontal distance now we need to find the elevation of that point that means we need the distance from the datum we have in here up to this point the elevation we need from the same datum okay so here we have uh, a right triangle this is 90 degrees in here and we will have a similar triangle here okay so this distance is also z the difference in elevation so we know that this inclined distance is 500 
so uh, basically what we need to do first if we look to the distance from here to here this distance it's basically the elevation of our benchmark plus the height of the instrument and the elevation from here to here is delta z and the distance from here to here is the reading of the rod so the elevation of this point is simply this distance plus this distance which is this portion in here which is the elevation of the benchmark plus the height of the instrument plus delta z minus the reading of the rod and uh, the effect of curvature and refraction uh, will be considered if this one the inclined is more than 1000 foot and uh, i don't believe that uh, for fundamental of engineering level that you will be considering the curvature and refraction okay so uh, let's go back to our calculation we need to evaluate z so uh, simply z is r cosine the angle here in between z and r which is 568.73 cosine 73 degrees 27 minutes now um, for us I just want to remind you that we can input the angle as is so we have 568.73 multiplied by cosine 73 degrees and 27 minutes and that is 162.00 foot so we have z now the reading also we have which is 3.88 so simply the elevation of point b equal to 237.5 plus 4.5 plus 162.00 minus 3.88 and that would be 400.12 foot 